All right. This guy's well, really welcome to episode 10 of The Hidden Knife. Hello? I guess that's, that's all I got. How you guys doing? When they look at her instantly. Oh, hi, Internet! <laughs> it's happening! Oh! It couldn't have been more forced if you tried. Oh, wait. Wait. We were just discussing your ongoing crush on our one missing person. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> wow, now you what? just had to, like, uh, say it out loud and make it awkward. You. All the, all the ben and Ben and Vigilos and Amros are just, like, merging into one giant singularity. You, uh, you think you're just... joking. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I need a lyric do that for me, too, just to be fair. It, it like, is true. it's like. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've actually made that mistake in character. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, uh, episode <laughs> 10. When we last left you guys, uh, you I'm were attending a wedding. All Excellent. except for Tristan, who uh, left right before the wedding started. Yep. And decided to um, go have a talk with a, um, shall Not we say, or. rather interesting, interesting uh, jongler. Which, Mark, if you're listening... That conversation happened. Um, okay. And we will pick up kind of basically from there. Um, the wedding goes... Not know. an orc or a jungler. That's true. Well, he you don't know if he's a jungler or not. He could or, be. Or a jungler. Yeah. We're, we're calling them junglers because that feels like there's... Wouldn't it be like jongleur? Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it should be French. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm making that up now until yeah. I find out otherwise. Until you find out otherwise. Um... Well, let's just, uh, let's also do our announcements. So um, once again, thanks to Ulysses Spiel uh, for not just uh, supporting the stream, but also providing us with a great uh, swag product for the guys down in Texas and a new mic setup for me. So hopefully you guys can hear the difference. And uh, for Petri's Family Games, who continues to support the uh, show in multiple ways. So, all right. The wedding goes yeah. long into right. the evening. Are you guys, uh, what are you guys doing to Connie and Delilah and Vigilos? Okay. Um, well, are we, did we go back to town? Are we, uh, is the, it lasting long with cows that Delilah is shooing away so that they can actually have wedding festivities? Like, yeah, no, there's, uh, it is slowly moving back into town but it is more of a rolling party at this point okay um the with, music with... continues there's dancing through the streets i mean this is a this is a festive <laughs> festive occasion but eventually it does get back to benegrim's confectionery as it should uh tristan as you yeah, sit okay. in the brew house you see the wedding procession kind of come dancing by uh, Anvar and why did my brain just die? Vixen. Vixen, Vixen thank you. Are on the <laughs> shoulders of the of the herdsmen and the uh, at this point the city folk have kind of come out to join as well. Those who know what's going on, um, the party is stretched out along the street between Benegrims and the Two Foxes Tavern. So what are you three doing? Yeah. Remind me which uh, of the which of the guilds it is that uh, I know the otters are the well diggers. Yes. But was there a guild that was specifically in charge of construction in the town? No. Okay. <laughs> I think that after the um, I think that after the procession passage passes, I would like to go in search of a carpenter. That's right. All right. Okay. All right we will. Uh, I will come right back to you, Tristan, Takani, and Delilah and Vigilas. What are you doing? Um, well, my plan was to notice Tristan wasn't there and go looking for him because why did he leave weirdly in the middle of a what wedding? A weird. Give me a perception roll wedding. at minus three because of the festivities. At minus three. Okay. I'm a rolling stone to Connie. Just so I'm at it. I should add that to the playlist. <laughs> but let's, let's wait and and see if 
Uh, well, let's wait and see if Rosalind turns out to secretly be evil, and then we'll decide about whether or not to add it. That, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the plane is behind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fail. You do not notice Tristan is gone. Okay. <clears throat> so while Takani was doing that, uh, Delilah, Vigilos, are you doing anything? Vigilos has an hour and a half before he starts to feel less high on 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 life, on life, true, on <laughs> actual light life. Yeah. Um. So probably for the next hour and a half, he is Grain's like got the good herbs. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> he is wandering among the herds, sort of just you know, ruffling the ears of <laughs> random cows. Um. <laughs> Probably patting small children on the head, um, randomly blessing bystanders. All right. Um, but he, he's feeling quite good, just sort of milling with the crowd. Um, he's got a large hole in the middle of his um, of his vestments, <laughs> um, where earlier in the day he was blasted by an evil cultist. Man, I'm so glad you reminded me. Of but that. now it's just now it's just pink baby smooth flesh. Where he was healed, just right there. Completely awesome. hairless too. <laughs> you can see little hairs peeking around the edges, but right there, it's just no hair. <laughs> so much detail. Oh, <laughs> That's important. I feel important. like I feel like Ben has really gotten into Vilas's headspace and just and well, done, well done. And like all of him, he's like. Yeah. Is that why you always spread out to take up most of the couch? Yeah, no. I, I'm, like... I'm, a, I'm a fairly large man with an even bigger man inside and squeezing it out. <laughs> ben is a method actor. And... Well, now we have the title for the, the, the episode. That's right. I'm a fairly large man. <laughs> Delilah, what are, you, what are you doing? Delilah is dancing, but not like performance dancing. She's like pulling people in from the crowd and like basically oh. the procession is getting bigger partly because she's very enthusiastically like, you know, we've got a line of dancing people. Look, you're added on. Oh, there you yeah. go. All right. All right. Um, so yeah. And she's, she's also shooing away the random cows. She's not affectionate towards them. It's like... Uh. Get out of yeah. our procession. The, this is a good The lowing cattle is not as, as soothing for Delilah as it is for... <laughs> no, no, it's not. She does not like dancing in cow patties. Vigilas occasionally, nice. uh, occasionally brings like a sheep or maybe a goat to Delilah and tries to introduce them and say like, this is a very nice sheep. You should you should become friends. Yeah, I, that. I feel like for every animal Delilah shoes away, Vigilas is bringing another... It, Another it, one yeah. in. You can yeah. that she just yeah. really yeah. hasn't met the right sheep yet. That's right. Yeah. Well, while well, you bring people into Every the right. into the festivities, uh, Vigilas is bringing more animals. Um, at this point, at this point, uh, Noah's Ark has nothing on the wedding of Anvar and Vixen. Um, all right, Tristan, you are uh, you head out into the city. Um, you managed to come across. Uh, you you know you ask around. Is a lot of people are. I mean, Fexcare is a. Uh, a fair-sized town, but after all of the discussion of the prince of <clears throat> of the half orcs, a lot of people are getting into um, the wedding. wedding. Right, uh, sure. I mean, there's, fi- there's only fifteen hundred people in the town, but you uh, you manage to catch one of the carpenters um, as the, he is locking up his shop, whistling happily to himself. He's a uh, rather uh, uh, red-faced, kind of bulbous-nosed, uh, <clears throat> tall, stocky man. <clears throat> um, excuse me, friend. I. No. Oh, um, the White Wizard effects care. Y- yes. Um, <laughs> I um, I would actually like to speak with you about a matter of business. It shouldn't take very long. But you can hear the. You can hear the. It will be very brief. If you'd like, we can uh, probably discuss it in the morning. I should still be around by then. Um, uh, well, the way I hear it, the only reason the city's standing is because of you guys. So he unlocks his well, shop and heads back in. Um, I would like to commission the building of a house. Like right now? Um... <laughs> <laughs> 
construction to begin in the next few weeks. Um, I was thinking something <laughs> with uh, like a tower, tower and battlements. Um, probably just the one. I'm totally kidding. Um, it's just a house. <laughs> um, I, I was about to say I don't know how things are done in Griffinsford. But... It's been a long day. I'm a little loopy right now. It's been a long day. Um, no, just a house. Um, actually, there's a there's a bit of land, um, uh, and I'm going to describe a kind of a, a, a place um, on the south side of the bridge, um, just sort of like off to the probably the east side of the bridge, where there was like an old burned out house. Okay. Um, um, well, learn, sir. I'm I'm sure I could. If you've got the property, I can build a house there. The property is being handled, um, and your fee will be as well. Um, I can give you a down payment now, and the remainder will be due from um, Sir Bevedere uh, Foxfer um, of Griffinsford. All right. Um, anything particular? Um, you know, something nice. Uh, <laughs> windows, doors. That sort of thing. Um, uh, Library? Yeah. Um, tower. You know, um, no towers, but, um, you know, just this sort of, you know, two windows, front door, kind of a nice, uh, nothing too ostentatious, just a bit cozy, I think. Right? For, your, for yourself and your friends? Uh, for some friends of mine. All right. Um... All right, I can. I will speak with you in the morning on the down payment, and we'll get started on it. Very good. Um, I am going to go looking for the steward vicar now. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything else the three of you would be doing at the party, or just I'm enjoying the rest of it? Thorwolf. You're what? Gonna go look for Thorwolf. Yes, uh, he's easy to find. He is taller than basically everyone here, except for. As in Tristan. <laughs> and you. Okay. So. How tall is he? Uh, yeah, he's. You find him. 6'8. Six, eight. Six, eight. Okay, no, he's just taller than everyone. <laughs> like yeah. the mast of a certain ship <laughs> that one might cling to in a storm. <laughs> do, you need, do you need things to. No, no. Things to read, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm you find you find you find Thorwald. Yeah. Just How's he question. doing? How are you doing, Thorwald? Oh, I'm uh. I I'm better, Mister Connie. The uh, the stitches, and you kind of see awkward waves from behind Thorwolf. getting put back in. The ones I popped, and uh, well, replenishing Good. my blood, the liquids in my body. <laughs> um, it's all good. Tristan told me it's all very scientific. Oh, I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. Probably. Yeah. Um. Can't, couldn't one of them actually just heal you? Well, Vigilos is sprouting flowers wherever he steps. <laughs> And I don't, ow, I don't see Tristan here right now. Hopefully he found the cat yet. I was just about to ask him, have you found Ratatos gear yet? I have not. Would you like to go looking for it? Regulus is like a giant animal beacon right now. It's true. We could take Regulus. <laughs> <laughs> no, just like put him on a leash and just lead him through the streets. See what animals show up. <laughs> So, a lot of our plans with Ben's character involves put him, putting him on the end of a pole and, and putting A pole or a leash. Or, a spear. or like one of those body harnesses they make for toddlers, which I've never used on my children. <laughs> um, yeah, Thorwolf, uh, Thorwolf picks some of the stuff out of his beard. Yes, let's... <laughs> Let's go take a walk to All find right. the cat. 
Defend the cat. Defend Obviously. the cat. First thing, first thing. I feel like I feel like in this town with the different guilds saying to find a cat no. doesn't mean no. what Oh, that's no, an no. interesting it point. Means unfortunate find, wording. Oh, that's just uh, unfortunate wording. Like right, you say, let's go find a cat. Everybody's like, <laughs> "What are you rolling for?" Like, um, there are a number of people at the party who hear Thorwolf say, "Let's go find a cat," and uh, start walking towards him. <laughs> <laughs> Seems the cat guild is is interested. <laughs> what do you do, Takani? <laughs> Waiting for it. I've got your back, then. <laughs> I do. I have my. I draw my sword ever so slightly. Uh, give me an intimidation roll, Delilah. You're watching all of this happen. Hey. There's something <laughs> soft and fuzzy and kind of uh, wet and damp nuzzling at your hand. Okay, I'm gonna spend a point of. I mean, one of my. Yeah. I'm, You're gonna spend one of your fate points? I'm gonna spend one of my fate you points. You almost spent a point of hope. I can just, I like, take it off your other No, that's cool. Right I'm now. good. Yeah. I was gonna right. spend a fate point. Oh, oh, same exact number. Wow. Okay. You are surprisingly not intimidating. I feel like probably my first if they're actual in this cats, game. they're not that intimidated by violence? Competition. Yes. By violence? Yeah, I would say so. But. Okay, and <laughs> we'll see how okay, intimidated I, they are. I do make it. I do make it. With a what quality? Level? Level. One. <clears throat> they don't so much flee or even <laughs> run away, but there is a quiet acknowledgement between you and the cats, Takani. Uh, the goat is nuzzling That's your hand. That's all I need. <laughs> The Connie has a crush. <laughs> uh, there's a goat nuzzling your hand, Lila. <laughs> yeah, she's. <laughs> goat noses are very wet. Apparently, though. it's not goats or sheep. Vigilance, you need to come up with something else. All right, uh, Tristan, you find your way to the Steward Vicar. <sighs> Steward Vicar Delia. Tristan Foxfur, White Mage of Griffinford. I am. Fox cares, I hear it. I've heard it both ways. She's locking up the uh, the different portions of the temple. I, I am take it our... sorry about interrupting the prayers earlier. You understand the circumstances. I do, and I, I take it that our issue has been dealt with. I hear it a lot is. of celebrating, which is not normally what one expects to hear when the nameless one is involved. It appears to be dealt with. I do have a dead cultist that somebody will need to bury. Hopefully it's the last one. Who? Um, oh gosh, what was her name? Was it Ishtar? Uh, that was, where is that the daughter? I always get confused. Iskra. Iskra. It was Iskra. I would strongly recommend that the old Temple of the Golden One be leveled. <laughs> if you can find the workers. I'll speak with the otters. Elwyn! Elwyn comes, like, he's got his best Cossack on, his hair is slicked back. Tristan's yeah. going to tell you um, the location of a body, and I need you to go <laughs> bury it. <laughs> And like a bladder of wine skin, you just watch the man deflate. <laughs> All in the service to Fex, Elwin. All in the service to Fex. <laughs> now, oh, it, uh, Iskra. Tristan. Well, if you would tell Elwin, and then perhaps we shall go to this party. Certainly. Um, so I'll tell Elwin where. We left the body. He's kind of murmuring <laughs> under his breath. <laughs> what was that? He's murmuring under his breath. I have this mental image of him going through with a stick <laughs> through the woods. Ah, why am I here? <laughs> Don't hard. worry, Elwyn. The um, you won't have to bury the demon because I banished it to the Nether Hells. So another one. <laughs> yep. All right. 
I'm not saying that I don't appreciate all that you've done for this town, but there seems to be some sort of correspondence with your activity in the town and the amount of demons that Vex care has seen in the last year. I'm two for two, aren't I? You are. You're not thinking um, of settling down here, are you? Um, I am thinking of having a house built, which is actually why I've come to see this dude with Vicar. Ellen just kind of wa- turns on his heel <laughs> and walks back, and you definitely hear the sound of, like, shovels and spades from a small room being banged against each other. I feel like in the, in the church effects, when you ask someone Somebody to bury a body, <laughs> I feel like that means something different than it does in other, other churches. churches. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you be the godfather to my child? Yeah. Yeah. A blessed <laughs> one is someone you call on um, when you need to to cover cover your sins. A yeah. blessed one effects is someone you call on when you need to cover a body. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Or other sins. <laughs> well, and that. So, Stuart Vickham, um, I hope that you've seen the last of this nameless one called here in Vexcare, and and um, my friends and I have done as much as we could to help you and to help this city. And I have not asked for a reward. Um, but there is one small but. boon. <laughs> but there is one small boon. And I know that Fex likes his deals. He does. <clears throat> what is it, Tristan? There is a small um, piece of property, and I'll ex- uh, describe the location of the burnout house. Ah, yes. There's a small piece of property um, on the south side of the Bodea. Um just on the edge of the boneyards, um, which I hope now that um, the evil that's been lurking there has been exterminated, perhaps the city will begin to rebuild. Uh, If I could have this plot of land, um, I don't think it would go for very much. It shouldn't shouldn't be a trouble for you. Consider it done. This is the city of Fex, and I am his voice in the town. That is all I would ask. I will send the otters to clear it in the morning. Thank you. Now, there is a small hill dwarf who has been baking here in town, and I have yet to try his sweets. Uh, They're very sweet. I am counting on it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> very good she offers you her arm I will take it or give it or however that works you know alright Takani you and Thorwolf have gone looking for Ratatos gear yes yep. have you taken Will us with you as a giant animal summoning beacon no are you actually attempting to find Ratatos gear or a chaperone I mean yeah, I'm probably actually looking for red toast here. All right, give me I, a. I feel like Thorwolf is slightly, slightly disappointed that you're actually looking for the cat. Do you want me to roll for? Th- you know what, Thorwolf, I'm not going to roll for him because he's not looking for the cat. <laughs> Cats come back when they want to. Everybody knows that. So. Or they Except move in. Sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, bro. I didn't I mean to. Yeah, that happens. Um, all right, Takana, give me a roll. Okay. <clears throat> That's animal lore? Is that what you want? Yes, or give hunting? Me animal lore. No, give me a tracking roll. Okay. You've rolled a lot of 17s right? tonight. That's the... It's my favorite prime number, though. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Good on you for rolling those prime numbers. Yep. And is it factorial 17? It's 154? I don't know what you're saying. It's magic. Okay, I make it. <laughs> Which is the number Quality of level one, though. Quality level one? All right, it takes you... It takes you a while. But by the time you and Thor will find... Um, by the time you and Thor will find... Ratatoskir, who um, 
lead you further and further. Roll a d ah. roll a d six for me. <laughs> okay. Wait, do you want to use my? Oh well, let's give another cheese. What'd you get? Die. Okay, I'll use the roll. No, it's okay. Hey, You're you roll. Roll. I a one. You did? Okay, cool. Uh, he's up a uh, Ratatoskier's up a tree. Um, looks like he's gotten into a nest. Okay. Is he eating my birds? You don't know. You're <gasps> you're somewhere else. You're my not word. here. I, man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he put his birds in his shirt? Mm-hmm. No, he no, left them. In, he left them in a nest. You don't know anything about that, so it is unclear whether this is a nest in question or not. But but if it is that nest, this is a nice spot for the. For, you know, the whole moonlight, there's, a, there's an overgrown garden. Yeah, it roses. is actually in an overgrown garden. Um, <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the stars are out. And Thorwolf, at 6'8", just kind of is able to reach up and pull the cat. And the cat kind of gives him this, well, kind of like, oh, you didn't die a horrible no. death. <laughs> you know. Kind of indifferently. Like a cat. <laughs> like a cat. I, mean, I, I guess that's cool. <sighs> <laughs> so I, I was getting my own food, but I mean, you can do that from now on. That's oh, fine, whatever. too. <laughs> Fair, so, man. so where? It sounded like Tristan was ready to head out. Uh, to go south? Yes. Actually, yeah. I'm not sure where he needs to go now. It's been so long. And, uh, you're, you're going after your brother. Yes. You're coming, right? I have. I have business. I'm ruined. With the back black yarl. <laughs> and I owe. I owe Tristan, as well. All right. <clears throat> wow, I feel like the huh? Go ahead. South, uh, south. I will be heading. Good. Yes. <laughs> Much like Yoda, I will be talking. <laughs> Thorwolf is a man of complicated emotions, Tristan. <laughs> All right. I understand. I do. Um. He just kind of falls quiet. Yeah. Um. I feel like awkward silence might actually be happening right now. <laughs> cool. We fade away to awkward silence. <laughs> Vigalos, oh, what yep. new hell have you brought to Delilah? No. Um. <laughs> Delilah, you see Tristan and the steward vicar Delia enter the party, Ooh, and everyone you. just kind of cheers. Uh, you're not quite sure if it's for Tristan or if it's it's for the steward. Uh, but at this point, Vigalos, you're kind of coming off your cloud. Um, mm-hmm. The kind of green tint that has filled your vision is slowly starting to fade. Um, you're becoming more and more aware of the giant hole in your Cossack. Um, and um, people kind of walking by and looking at your belly. Um, belly green? Yes, um, my friend. Do you have some icing? <laughs> Oh, oh, of course we do. I feel that perhaps terrain... Would you like me to put it on something for you? Please put it on I feel like perhaps maybe... A a, a branch of wheat, perhaps, right here? Edible body art. In in, in device of terrain that would be quite quite becoming. Hey, uh, do we have Delilah's love potion? Um... (laughs) <laughs> what? Why do you want Where I came it? from, it was customary to put alcohol on the belly, not Al- icing. It's an okay re- reaction to this. <laughs> well, I feel like perhaps this is drawing a lot of attention, and if perhaps I placed the symbol of Karen, it would feel more and icing. natural. Perhaps. That, that would draw less att- attention, my friend. Yes. With yes. icing. Well, Man, I'm I hope sh- your boss is here. <laughs> I, hope, I do not know if uh, do you have a better suggestion, perhaps some ink? 
Um, well, I mean, just off the top of my head, which does not stand very far from the ground. <laughs> and, and you realize, like, Benigrim is eye level with the hole in your Cossack. <laughs> Perhaps a, a, a new tunic? I, I would bring you one of mine, but... This is my best cassock. It was I was going to wear it to the wedding. He kind of pats you on the side. You Not didn't. anymore. Then I also have I also had this on my back. So what I was thinking, I have since it went all the way through, I have one here I was thinking perhaps the 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 the, the, the gray, the, the wheat, perhaps wheat. And on the back, perhaps you could do a crane. Ah. So I will be right back. Thank you, right thank you, my friend. Delilah, uh, has been Delilah watching with amusement. Benigrim heads right to you. Um, Vigilas wants me to draw on him with icing. <laughs> she kind of smiles at him and says, uh, "So bad." I'll talk to him. Thank you. You scared me, Vigilas. Yes, Delilah. You know, you, there are multiple options here. I could give you some lessons. Oh, that is, that is an excellent idea. And in fact, Delilah, I was going to ask you about this. I, it is my, I, it's my realization about traveling with all my friends that perhaps my education in worldly matters is not what it could have been. Oh, oh. Is this where Regulus asked Delilah to educate him in worldly matters? Evidently, this is happening right now. I'm going to get more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you get back, Tristan, we'll, you and the steward need to talk. So, what I was thinking um, was, yes, well, I may not be, may not have the proper body shape, for example, uh, for, the, for the famous Iranian dance, but um, I, I feel, feel that perhaps... I think I could work something out for you. Do, in your country, do men do that dance? Men are actually highly skilled dancers. <laughs> oh, then, what I was thinking was perhaps, perhaps you, you could teach me the way of dancing. And uh, I, I was hoping that, uh, that uh, yes, um, I was going to ask... It, the men are the known ones for dancing, not, not like you. He asked. Like that. I was going to ask ask Tristan to teach me sword play, and um, perhaps perhaps I will ask uh, Tikari to teach me how to growl. Um, <laughs> I do not, I'm not sure what I'm going to ask her yet, but I will think about it. And um, long but... late night growling sessions right now. <laughs> the... But I was hoping that perhaps you might be able to teach me dancing. How about the saber dance? We kind of combine all of them. No, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, I feel that this is a good idea. <laughs> now, um, we will, uh, perhaps bad. tomorrow, once the wedding is over and we have all had a chance to rest, I should we should uh, party, meet and party. practice the saber dance. Um, well, we don't start with the saber, party. not all on your first party. lesson. At this oh. point, Anvar and Vixen approach the two of you. Uh, <laughs> they are just wide eyed and big smiles. <laughs> Vixen yeah. comes up to you, Vigalos. Speaking of dancing, I do believe it is it is your turn. And Anvar very awkwardly holds out his hand to Delilah. Oh, and she takes it. All right. Uh, oh, it's, uh, um, I, I have three left feet and am not very good at dancing. It's okay, Vigalos. It's okay. Come on. Also, I have a large hole in my cassock, which, which... <laughs> is there any icing on it? Did you no. There is, no. Thank which, you, if you would wait just a moment, Benny Green was going to help me visit. Um, no, he thought the dancing classes were a better idea. <laughs> no? Wait, yes, yes. And when you look at him, he is furiously nodding yes. And when you look away... <laughs> <laughs> So perhaps this um, the best NPCs. Then um, um, I suppose I suppose just one small that. dance would not <laughs> would not harm. Uh, well, I may harm you, but um, it will not be intentional. All right. The steward vicar turns to you, Tristan. <laughs> so I take it. 
as the house was not for you. You and your companions are not staying. <clears throat> I have um, some obligations that take me away south, at least for a while. It is my intent, once I have met those obligations, to come back to Vexcat, but I don't know how long that'll be. It has been good to have a mage. A trained and skilled mage here in the town. You should Fex bring your path back here. We would welcome it. Thank you. I that means very much to me. See if you can't toughen that one up just a bit. <laughs> Kea will not be around forever. And while Vigalos knows his way around the bunion <coughs> and the falling calf. See if you can toughen him up a bit. On the edge. He takes a little something extra. It does indeed. Shall we dance? See if you can keep up. Oh. <laughs> She is the she is the high priestess of the goddess or the god of thieves. She probably knows. All right. Work. Yeah. Um, awkward silence continues. <laughs> so in my yep. scenes, um, in, in lieu of the awkward silence, I mean, I do no, have he, no, no. extensive, but it's not no. canon. It's no. his own creation from. It's, <laughs> it's, it's Delilah's creation. Delilah's creation. That's right. We have our first piece of fan fiction. And it will come up. Stream. Oh gosh, there's so much. I I I, I was like, wow, I just wrote 2,500 words. What is my life? That's right. <laughs> uh, but it's all it's it's both fan fiction for the hidden knife, and inspired by the Colonel Sanders tender wings of desire. Yeah, it so, was inspired by that. So I just would like to put both of those, one on each of Richard's uh, shoulders. Excuse me. So that... Excuse me. This is way better than Wings of Desire. Just Also, I, it should be noted, this is, I don't know if it counts as fan fiction, if it's actually in character within this is, the setting. It's only put it, character. Think, of, think of it this way, JM. It is your game's very first in-world text. That's right. Mm -hmm. I would just like to say, if you would like to see us release the... Uh, the the fan fiction if, please if please we post, get to, res, yeah respond to this to like how many subscribers do we have on youtube i, don't know. I should probably okay. keep track of that yeah i'm gonna say like like we probably don't have 100 do we have 100 i'm looking right now as we get completely distracted yep i just you know this is important because i don't want to like commit to something <laughs> and then like have to do it tonight <laughs> 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 All right, we will look at it later. What's your number? Okay, I'm gonna say if we get to 500 subscribers on YouTube. Okay, we definitely don't have that many. I okay, say, yeah. I will release. I will release a 10,000 word <laughs> ebook that is the love story of Takani and Thorwolf as imagined by one Delilah. I'm going to be inviting so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we will we will keep the channel and the uh, and we will just keep everyone updated. Eric, when you see this, please make it known. Okay, I don't even know where to go from there. Okay, I do. Okay. Um, so now that we found the cat, why don't we uh, keep walking? And you can tell me a story or something from your. Adventures on the sea. <sighs> I would be glad to do that, Miss Takani. Adventures on the sea, that's yeah, sweet. Yep. Quiet you. <laughs> Quiet you. Really Quiet you. <laughs> what was the name of your boat? Your ship? Ship. Ship, right? Ship. Yeah. Ship. Uh, uh, what, did you, what did you ask, uh, Takani? Not right now. <laughs> what is the name of your ship? What was the name of your ship? <sighs> well, 
You gotta make it up now, right? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. In your tongue, she was called the swan. She'll always be up there to me. Also, in the language of the Thor Wallows, it's You're called the there. swan. You're not there. Because those You're words are the same. The what? <laughs> because the words I'm just making old Norse jokes. Anyway, please oh. continue. Yeah, he tells you that uh, she was, she was, uh, he called her up there. So, what story would you like to tell me? Well, there was, I'll tell you why. <laughs> As you guys walk through the, I mean, this overgrown, um, uh, abandoned garden, you still see where the paths used to be. But the palazzo, um... It's still attractive, but you can tell it's definitely starting to be reclaimed by the wildness. I was part of the the group that hunted down Jarl Frenjar, the Black Jarl, mm -hmm. in the south. When it came back to us, the reports that he was engaged in slavery. What you have to understand is there's very few things more offensive to Thorwallers than the owning of another man. Or woman. <clears throat> woman. Uh, I was my ship, my Alp there. We were the one that torched Frenjar's ship. And my priest was the one that banished him from the oceans, put him under the ban. He rides on a ship, it's open season. I, he gets real quiet for, I suppose that's why he was inland. <laughs> Ah. Right. Well. Huh. <laughs> Frenjar had enough friends to keep him from being killed. But he still has to answer for my men. The ones we lost in that fight. He has a lot to answer for. Hi. It'll be a good day when we catch up with the Black Yarl again. Yes, it will. Wow. <laughs> All right. Unless there's anything else you would like to add to the scene, to Connie. Like in their mutual hatred. I mean. <laughs> but um, no, I was just playing the next chapter. Are you for reals? Yeah, I know. He's got to come up with 10,000 words. He doesn't it won't have be to hard. Try hard. <laughs> um, so yes, at this point, the party is winding down. Um, Anvar and Vixen are being cheered as they head um, back to the um, Two Foxes Inn, which is uh, been gonna, largely are, cleared out. Are we going to pull off like several extended hours of hilarious wedding night hijinks? Because this isn't the Middle Ages. So. <clears throat> Actually, is, before we... Well, it is true. I, I do actually want to. I, do, I, I seriously do want to grab Anvar before they okay. before they are triumphal. All right, I, we'll jump over there to Connie, and then we'll jump back to you, if that's okay. all right. All right, Tristan. Um, Anvar, I don't want to trouble you. I know you've got some things to do. Um, just one. one more. Right. Um, tomorrow, um, they're going to start breaking ground on your house. Um, it's right across the bridge on the other side of the Bodia. And I know the Boneyard isn't the best neighborhood, but I am told that the property values are going to skyrocket in the near future. So anyway, um, 
He holds out his hand. Thank you. All the best luck. For everything. If you ever need a scout, you let me know. I'm leaving soon, but I'm sure I'll be back someday. And, well, when I am, um, we'll catch up. Uh, the half work just kind of pulls you into a, a quick right. embrace. Yep. That's, it's good. It's good. You rolled a natural one. Fjork <laughs> <laughs> is hugging you. Fjork <laughs> is hugging you. Um, luckily, Benagrim is nowhere to be seen. Um, so, Vixen comes walking up. Tristan, Vixen? thank you for... It's, it's, um, it's all I do. <laughs> Make sure it's not all you do. We'll see about that. She stands up and gives you a little kiss on the cheek, and then goes over to talk to Delilah. Uh, you see a couple, of, she's coming towards you, Delilah, but you see a couple of the foxes kind of pointing at the two of them and chuckling. And Vixen's eyes go steely, and she kind of walks over there. And you don't hear what is said, but all of the mirth seems to go out of those foxes. And then she comes walking over to Delilah. I am so happy for you. Thank you. I still can't believe we're doing this now. But I, I could not have done this without you. I just wanted you to know. And tell Takani wherever she's at. Is she off with Thorwolf? Yeah. <laughs> she well, Vigilos is off his 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 high, but I'm sure he could do another wedding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's true. Thank you. You saved his life twice. You saved mine once, and from what I understand it, the city is not a smoking crater because of you two. Or you, all of you. Mostly, mostly him. But I have a, I have a gift for you. Um, not for. We're going away soon. But I'm planning on coming back, and, well. <laughs> so anyway, she she pulls out of her bag a. It's wrapped in a veil. A very lovely veil made out of silk. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, inside is a three pound journal. Okay. That is full of writing. Okay. I I like to write books. Um, I've never had anything, well, anyway, uh, not published, uh, but I. Uh, I am coming back, and I'd like to you to read it before I I give it to, to Maribel for, for printing. And um, I'm going to have to change the names, of course. <laughs> uh, you'll see why. Okay. Um, you can give me some suggestions, though, when I get back. I... I... Um, anyway, it's yours, because I will be back. The bit on the ship deck is particularly like when she flips open to it it's kind of <laughs> um she she kind of takes the book and holds it close and then sets it down on the table and gives you a big hug hug returned i have to go say goodbye to week vigalos he's going with you right <laughs> i'm pretty sure he is yes he has this this obligation disadvantage, so we have to work that out. But take care of him. I think right now Vigalas has discovered that he actually does like dancing, so he's out there like on the floor by himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Rolling the dice, doing the sprinkler. <laughs> exactly. That's, right. That's the widest thing I've ever seen. That's not a dance. It is Thank not. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Thorwald drum. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <It's> so bad. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to everyone involved with the Thorwald drum for that right there. Um, 
take care of him. I'll keep an eye on him. Anvar kind of comes by and puts his arm around Vixen. We gotta say goodbye to Vigilas. All right. And they start heading towards what my vivid imagination uh, is filling in of Vigilas. There's like a space cleared out around you, Vigilas. Um, it has so been sexy. it has been two, like two hours, so there has been enough alcohol and vibe that people are like Vigilas, Vigilas, Vigilas. Are you dancing with any of the cats? Uh, no. Yes. All of them. Uh, I mean, not not Once. like not like intentionally. I mean, if they show up, okay. it's gonna like. <laughs> All right. If they show up, he's going to do exactly that. Please don't show up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when this is turned into a, an animated series, yeah. I cannot wait for episode 10. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Anvar and Vixen show up. Thank you, Brother Vigos. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, Vigos. Yes. No. Vixen kind of comes up. Be safe. I'm so glad you're sitting next to him today. <laughs> I think I will be so safe. Um, and uh, yes, guess, uh, uh, Delilah is going to teach me how to dance. <laughs> dance better with swords. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Vigilas. <laughs> And this is the same to you. Many blessings upon your union. And may then I return, may there be so many babies. He offers you his hand. Is None this... of them will be princes. Please <laughs> dance with him. But, 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 but. <laughs> you are a half prince. I mean, a half orc prince. Oh, God. So perhaps they do. You and remember, sometimes, sometimes you have to go and see your witch in the Wildwood. I mean, your your mother in the Wildwood. Um, and don't forget, she will want to see the Sorry. grandchildren. So have many, many, and then we will make a trip of it. That should be the title. Right. Yeah. Vigilas, when you get back, we'll we'll see about doing that. Okay. That is a good. Where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. As you. Not interrupting your dance in any way, Vixen very gracefully pats you on the cheek. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning before you head out. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Alright, at this point the party is winding down and we will go back to the palazzo with Takani. What were you going to... What is going on there, Takani? Okay. There is a fountain which is very close by, which is good for bathing. Is that the same <laughs> Yeah, don't ever use that for any. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben. <laughs> don't ever use that for any. <laughs> I really don't think it's the same fountain, but okay. It's no, um, the garden yeah. is next to the next to the no. brain. So. All uh, fountains by association. Yeah, I'm not planning on using the fountain. Okay, all I was going to say is why <laughs> to lean in on her tiptoes and then get the cat off his shoulders but you know take her time about it okay <laughs> don't even all right um Gold. completely or not misreading the situation uh thorwolf leans in and gives takani a kiss ah. and that is um, give me a perception roll, Takani, at minus two. Okay. La Vegasin cannot! Yes! <laughs> and that's the show, folks. <laughs> Thank you. Come back in two weeks. I'm pretty sure I still made that. I was going to say, that, that was a pretty fantastic window. Yeah, I yeah. do. Uh, quality level two. All right. Um, right after oh, no, the kiss... Wait. It almost seems as if the sky is a little brighter. Um, but then you kind of see, as you kind of look up over Thorwolf's shoulder towards the south. No. There are 
one or two stars that just kind of are streaking across the sky. Thanks a lot, Amanda. You broke the universe. <laughs> like a shooting star. <laughs> please, Make please, a please, wish. please tell me you really said that. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, as you kind of, as you kind of break uh, from your kiss, Thorwolf's got a, a grin on his face, and Ratatoskir is looking at you, just like. Wow. Um, all right. Do you guys all uh, retire at Mirabelle's, I assume? Or are you making uh, other arrangements? I'm actually going to go ahead and head, head out of town now. Middle of the night? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're just shading us straight up. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just going to go up to uh, Tristan is eaten room. by wolves and never heard from again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go to my room and just work on my uh, my alchemy scroll a bit. All right, give me the roll. The rest of you, what are you doing? The party is wound down. It is now close to midnight. I think Vigo Loss, um, despite being sort of worn out, is still probably just a little bit high from his um, his adventure today, and it probably will help kind uh, of clean up. Quality level three, which I think. <clears throat> All right. Rumor around town is that you're heading out. Uh, me? What? Well, I do, I do have to speak to the, to the Vicar Kaya. I would very much like to go on further adventures and see the best of hmm? Venturia with my yeah. new friends. But uh, I uh, technically, that would be abandoning my post. And that is uh, not smiled upon by any good people. Oh. No, that's... Well... <laughs> oh, it will be okay, Benny. Sweaty Hilldorf, because he's been mm -hmm. running around just right on your belly. <laughs> pass, I, pass, I have pass. some... I have a travel tin of okay. sweets as large as I am that I'm finishing up for you if you do, if you do head out. Well, you... If I take those with me, it will be like you are always inside of me. <laughs> Had to be done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the hug suddenly goes very rigid. Um, could you bring me and uh, Benigram disentangles himself from you. I. Hmm. I, hmm. <laughs> Why? You ever? <laughs> and he spends the next, uh, the remainder of the time, kind of in quiet <laughs> contemplation of what you have sent. <laughs> I I wonder, Benny Green. Um, I if, if I am leaving tomorrow, if. My birds will be hatched by then. And if they are not, um, would you be able to check on my eggs? You have eggs? Yes. There is a small nest in the tree next to the to in the garden next to the the temple of Perrain. And uh, in the nest there are I believe five eggs small um, which hopefully will hatch and will become horribly ugly little birds which um, I will then raise as my own children. <laughs> yeah, when you say it all loud, it sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> but if I'm not here when they hatch, and I'm not here to raise them, then perhaps... He lays his hand on your... Uh, he lays his, his hand just like, like he was going to reach out and just... So they raising... Comfort, you know, just pause you, but it just kind of like right smack in the middle of your... Of your of the pink flesh of your belly, I will raise them as if they were my own until you return. Thank you, thank you very much, Benigan. They will be like our children. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, I suppose they would be. 
you i will if i will let you name them but when you name them you must must keep in mind that someday other birds will call them by those names and they cannot be anything embarrassing i will name them all in my native tongue and give them fierce names excellent i i i look forward to meeting them all someday I will if they have pets, I mean, tomorrow if they are happy, I will take them. Like, in I, in this I will see you. I will see you before you head out, Benegrim. Thank you, Benegrim. Right, Benegrim, Vigalas. He's a little Thank flustered. You, you guys, he's like <laughs> finishing each other's sentences now. It's... Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see. Got uh, and you. So, uh, we'll come to you here in a second, uh, Delilah and Takani. Tristan, you successfully translate the cool invisibility potion. Do I have time to work on a potion of healing? Do you know that? You know that? Uh, I do. I know healing, magic, and now invisibility. Um, it is after midnight, so okay. yes, yeah, you, do, you do, and you have access to Mirabelle's alchemical lab. Yeah. Um, it is up to you. Mm, no, I need to rest. I'll do it in the morning. Okay. Delilah and Takani and Thorwolf, what are you guys doing? Um, is tonight Delilah's night for crazy things? Nope. Okay, I didn't think it was. I thought we still had a couple more nights. So. Okay. Yeah. Jam has kept meticulous calendar records. See, I know you did. <clears throat> Delilah's probably going to be dancing until everybody. It's just everybody's gone. The party is over until she's the last one. Oh, and yes. then. <laughs> You uh, well, you witness the exchange between Benegrim and Vigilas. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She does not interfere. <laughs> <laughs> but she does listen. A good friend would have you know, like bailed Vigilas out of that socially embarrassing situation, except no. No, they wouldn't. He deserved everything he gets. <laughs> but when it's over, she'll go back to her room and... Um, She's going to pull out the blank journal that she had purchased the previous day. Mm -hmm. And she's just going to look at it <laughs> for a little while before she goes to sleep. Oh, all right. I, why is that so sad? Mm -mm. No, she's, she's not sad. She's planning. That's right. Okay. She's finished a story and it's time to write another one. It is. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Since I'm apparently delighted as a ghostwriter now. <laughs> um, your wanderings take you back to Mirabelle's. To Connie. Yeah. <clears throat> I think she probably took his hand. He was going to offer you his arm, but we'll take, we'll take, he will, if offered. Right. Yeah. <sighs> so south tomorrow. Yes, I hope. First thing. Don't leave without me. I won't. He gives your hand a little squeeze. And he offers Aww. you Ratatosk here for the night. Aww. <laughs> okay, she takes the cat and goes to her room. All right. Re uh, regeneration, or yeah, recovery oh. rolls. <coughs> yes, and I need those. Oh so I'm fierce. Sweet. Just roll a d6. That's how many hit points you receive. Zane's dice are rolling well for me tonight. Uh, I don't and know where my dice are. My son has exchanged my dice for his dice. <laughs> so these are my my d6s for the evening. Oh. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> if you're sleeping for 12 hours, you can roll 2d6. But then you would be sleeping till noon. Yeah, she's not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I mean... <laughs> All right, what's the plan? What time are you guys 
Are you sleeping for one recovery phase or one regeneration phase or two? Six or twelve hours? Six hours. Six hours. All right. Then you definitely awaken to the smell of breakfast being prepared. Um, I want to get up, just like get up early and go down and try to put together a healing potion. If I can, how long does that take? I'm Maybe looking I'll... that up right now. Yeah. Do, do, do. Familiars. Rules for alchemy. Suck. Injection. Karma takes her, so I need to figure out how long it takes. The bottom one. I'll give you both. So it says it takes time, right. and you cannot brew more than one elixir per day. Right. Well, well I can I just do one little one little get up early, grind up some minotaur horn, you know, snort it, and see if you can get through <laughs> brewing the potion in a in a timely manner. Uh, no. So here's what I will. Um. All right, Richard, what is the what is your alchemy check? I think I've got an eight. Yes, I've got an eight in alchemy. All right, because these are hidden checks. Yep. And it's and, uh, uh, it's rolled against. Rolled against uh, my uh, my courage, which is twelve, my sagacity, which is fifteen, and my dexterity, which is fourteen. You have eight points. I do. And and I'm gonna put five A into it. I'm just gonna need a lot of healing since we have Wiggles around for that. <laughs> no, but I don't know you're coming. <laughs> That's true. That is true. All right. And you are using the ingredients you gathered over the last adventures for this? Yeah, I have so many potion ingredients. So many. And you put how many AE in there? I'm going to put, uh, hold on, I'm trying to find the rules for that. Four actually. is a bonus of one, eight is a bonus of two. And that is the max. I will put eight into it. All right. All right, so we're going to say it takes you, it takes you a couple of hours to do this. Yeah, yep. Um, I'm, just, I'm working through breakfast. Yeah, by the time you finish up, it's it's mid-morning. Uh, the rest of you awaken to the smell of coffee, uh, fresh, fresh baked breakfast goods, and Mirabelle calling up to you for <laughs> breakfast. Tikani, Delilah, it's ready. Delilah uh, will be down in a couple minutes. She woke up when Maribel called. That's fair. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Tikani comes down with a cat on her shoulder. Okay. Vigalas, you awaken to. Um, you don't. You don't sleep super well because uh, you wake up right at the end of that first. Uh, six-hour period as the roosters in the yard of Perrain wake you up. And you can hear Vicar Kea moving around. Pots clanging. Did she go to the wedding? Did we see her there? You did not see her there. You were too busy dancing. 
It's true. That's if it true. wasn't in this field of vision, you didn't see it. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> <laughs> All right. Nicolas um, um, gets up um, and uh, I assume probably he didn't change his clothes when he went to bed. Oh, God. Um, yeah. <laughs> so probably pulls off his old, his best cassock, which is now his holy cassock. His holy cassock. And um, swaps it out for his, his normal work cassock. Um, really? <laughs> and then um, goes out to uh, uh, help the vicar with the chores. Uh, it's the standard chores uh, that you have grown used to at the Temple of Perrain. Um Milking, recovering the eggs, getting breakfast started, tending to the animals that are under the care of the, the temple. So, she says as she's, she takes the, puts the, the breakfast porridge on the, uh, the metal arm and swings it over the fire. Here, your friends are going south. Yes, um, then I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, I feel that, well, um, perhaps, perhaps the work of Perrain could be best served if perhaps I accompanied them. You have an obligation to the temple. Yes, but I also, I, there is, a, there is an obligation to all living things. And as, as we know, Tristan and Tikani saved the entire town, which that, it is full of living things. Imagine yes, if yes. demons had eaten all the chickens. Vigilas, yes, no, I, I completely agree. You should go south with them. Um, and I just got a picture of like two of Osh sitting around a bucket of chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, the steward, the steward vicar Delia came and explained it all to me last night. Oh, did you did you go to the wedding? Um, I I stopped by. <laughs> did you did you she, you see you see the right corner of her mouth just kind of curl into what you you've never seen it, but you think that if some if she were to smile, it would possibly look like this. <laughs> In my head is just terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I transferred your obligation to the Temple of Fex, and she is going to transfer it to Tristan. Oh, um, does that mean I am a blessed of Tristan now? <laughs> oh no, you are going south to spread the word of Perrain, but... Your flock now consists of five people, as opposed to the city of Fexcare. Oh, oh then I, I, I have my very own flock now. I feel like I have tried hard to. Be am I? Person. Am I no longer a novice yet? No, no. Is I? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I have my very own. Sun is warm. Grass is green. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are officially a blessed one of Perrain, and no longer my initiate. <laughs> he reaches initiate. out and clasps Kaya's hand and shakes it very vigorously. Vigorously, yes. Or does he shake it wigglelessly? <laughs> 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 Eventually, I'm just going to have to have a rim shot button that I can hit. And, um, you represent Perrain when you are out in the world. This is true. You understand this? Yes. It is a traveling blessed one. is sometimes all the rural folk will see of what we believe and who we are. You are the face of Perrain <laughs> in the world. 
You see, she seems to be all, uh, alternating between, like, <laughs> extreme joy and despair. Like, you're not quite sure where her emotions are really kind of <laughs> pinging at. Don't. Forget to wash my underwear. <laughs> Be, be well, Vigilos. Blessed of Perrain. Don't. <laughs> that is what the cook told me just before I left for the for the gather, fire. You should gather your things. That is a lot of things. Um, oh my gosh. I will do this. Um, <laughs> and perhaps I should leave some of them with Benny Green. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Unless, 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 I mean, uh, no. Would no. you like any? No. 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 Not. No. <laughs> but I have a battle axe. No. And Please. some action figures. That is a I'm going to share this last bowl of porridge with you and then send you on your way into the world. You are Tristan's prob blessed one. <laughs> Probably blessed one. <laughs> Probably blessed one. Did I, did I by any chance tell you about the time I saw Karain last night? I mean, the night before last? As you tell that story. Okay, cool. Uh, Mirabelle has a, a just a full spread set out. You come down to Connie. <sighs> Rumor is. What you guys you are, you guys are headed out. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, I thought we were. I don't know where everyone else is. is You're a small. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, the, I put a towel under the door. None of the smell should get out. <laughs> Doesn't that mean he'll suffocate? No. I'll be right back. And Mirabelle gets up. <laughs> Tristan, Tristan, dear, open a window. <laughs> but it's fine. It's just um, um, you have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna open a window. <laughs> oh, oh. He'll be he'll be fine. He has he has plenty of brain to spare. <laughs> I just feel really good. <laughs> I'm just so happy for him, for, for, for Anva and yeah. what's the name? Tristan, Tristan, after a morning of crushing herbs, just comes out and just starts eating everything. Yep. Um, no. So, uh, Delilah, feel free to come downstairs whenever yeah, Delilah, you Delilah, by the time Mirabelle gets back, Delilah's back and she is, she's drinking by the, the coffee. Way, by the way, my head, um, Mirabelle is played by Julianne Moore. Okay. Just, okay. Just so, yeah. <clears throat> just so. Head cannon. Sorry. You, you heading out today then? I I think so. Yeah. Yes, we are. I will miss you. You two have. I'll miss you. We'll miss you too, Mirabelle, and your food. Well, <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll pack up some some bread and. Uh, that would be very appreciated. Thank you. Coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Now, who's going you with okay? you? No, I'm. I'm great. I assume. Just give me a few minutes. Yep. Yeah, good. Yeah. If I'm I good. push, poke you, will you fall over? <laughs> girls. <laughs> girls. <laughs> You're taking Tristan. I assume. Yes. We'll, we'll take him. Yes. Yeah, we're taking our white maid. Yes, we are. And, yes. And the big burly one. The big burly one? Yes, the big the burly wolf? one. Yeah. Are we taking the big we're... burly one? Well. Yes. Coming to. <laughs> Ratatoskir jumps off of Takani's shoulder and starts, like, wandering through the food on the table. That sounds right. <laughs> Delilah. Shoes him off. Takani. <laughs> 
There's so much we do with this cat. <laughs> Rescues the cat and gives him some bacon. Uh, there is a loud purring noise coming from are from Takani's shoulder. <laughs> <sighs> so the four of you heading south then. I. Oh, it's... five of us. That's right. Four of us. You, her, me. Oh. Is our elf coming? Yes, sir. Yeah. She's always so quiet. I, I forget she's here. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you I, You guys. Uh, uh, you saw <laughs> Alanway kind of wander off in the middle of the. The wedding service. <clears throat> okay. Do human weddings make elves really sad? She was talking to you. <laughs> you don't know. I'm just just asking. Let's, we'll have to ask. You'll have to ask Alanway when she comes back. Oh. No, she's coming. She she has. Or to call his father Ilkorin. Not a thing. Not so well. a thing. Half elf. Wrong kind of elf. Seal killer. Step out. Totally. She would know who her father do you is. Know where, do you know where you're going? Thank you. Fex care. What's that? Do you know where you're going, or are you just leaving Fex care? Um, we are going to. Oh, what's it say? It starts with A. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, you can use my notes. I'm downstairs <laughs> getting high. I mean, uh, um, Tristan, where are we going? Uh, we're going to. Starts with an A. <laughs> we're going to that. Um, you know, South of here starts with an A. I'm sorry. I, I'm just I a little. I got that part. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of in the middle of something. Andergast. That's the one. We're going to Andergast. <laughs> Thanks, Tristan. You do. Somebody send some muffins down here. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize that there's a there's a, a a large war going on there, right? Not like skirmishes in the night or anything like that, but they are called the Warring Kingdoms for a reason. Pre pressing business. This is all from downstairs. <laughs> I think. We we do all have pressing business. We'll have to uh, uh but I think we can we can manage. Well three things then before you go. I will pack up some food for you so you do not have to eat iron rations just yet. Thank you. Or mushrooms. If you make it to Andergast. <laughs> I believe that is where Ilkorin went. Uh, Go, Ilkorin. He, he might. He might be of some aid to you there in the south. <laughs> and I will be right back. And she. Takami, could you keep it down, please? Uh, the little bell dings and Trist or Thorwolf comes wandering in. <clears throat> right, are we ready to leave? So, did she have a package or a message that she wanted us to take? Is that what she was saying? Oh uh, no, her? she said she would be she would be right back. Oh, to kind of give Thorwolf a big smile. Uh, Thorwolf God. smiles God. back and then glances over to Delilah and blushes yeah. furiously. I don't know. I guess little people always. She do grins, Miss, you know. Miss Delilah. Thorwolf. Oh, Thorwolf. breakfast! And he sits down. Where's where's Tristan and what smells like it's burning? Uh, Tristan. Tristan. That seems about right. He's downstairs. Right then. So, where's Vigilas? He's coming with us? I haven't seen him this morning. Um... I need to talk. We need to talk to him. You want me to go get him? If you want, or we can go after breakfast. After breakfast it is then. <laughs> um, Tristan, you finished brewing your potion. All right, I come upstairs. 
All right, then. That's all done. Just wanted to get uh, a bit of uh, healing ready for the road, um, in case Thorf here gets himself turned into a pincushion again. Um, since we won't have, we won't have uh, Wiggleus with us to do the healing. Wiggleus isn't coming with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Wiggleus isn't coming with us. Uh, I mean, he's got obligations to the temple here. I don't really think it would be reasonable to ask him. Oh. I mean, it wouldn't be the same without him. That's that true. is true, and certainly a point worth considering. Um, <laughs> I I have to admit I've grown quite fond of him as well, the wolf. But uh, but I mean we can't ask him to leave the temple. I mean he's got obligations. That would be like me completely throwing my career away to come north to Fexca and kill demons all the time. Yeah, that would never happen. But. Uh, the sarcasm, Thor. Right. I, I'm sometimes sarcastic when I'm slightly. Um, yes. How do you put it? Um, when you. I believe the Thorwallian term for this is three sheets to the wind. Three sails to the wind. But you're, you're getting you're getting better. Right. Um, <laughs> but um, are those muffins? <laughs> yeah, and there's coffee. Uh, back at the. Is good. Back at the temple, Kaya kind of listens to your story. And it took oh. you a day to bring, to tell me about this. Well, I woke earlier. up and there was cake. And then I took a bath. You did try. To tell and me. then you did. Um, I think you knocked on the door. That, that's right. And then there was cake. And then I took a bath. And then we went and... Uh, I had a hole blown in me, and then we had a wedding, and then we had more wedding, and then I felt it was a very quick day yesterday. It went very quickly. I had been. Right, I should have told you sooner. A vicar in the church of Perrain for, well, for more years than I. And, and you saw Perrain? Well, I, I believe I saw her. Um, awesome. Her. <laughs> it was very recognizable. I think you read this bit. Try not to drink from any more Minotaur horns. Yes, would you like to keep this Minotaur horn? Is that the only one you have? Yeah, I have one more, but I was going to give to Benegrim. But I think that perhaps if I give it to Benegrim and he drinks from it, I do not know that Perrin will rescue Benegrim. And I do not know how that would work, and perhaps perhaps might be eaten Why by my head. Why both Bolo. of them with me? Bo oh, that is a good idea. <laughs> she takes I mean, both of the horns. You should... You should go to Mirabelle's at this point. Vigilos. Okay. Um, I, will, I must check on something in the garden first, but then I will go to Mirabel's. Okay. Um, as you head out, Kea kind of ushers you to the door, and as you are walking around, you distinctly hear a loud cracking noise, as if something were being broken, uh, coming from the inside of the temple. Awesome. Uh, well, Vigilos, you go to your you go to your nest. It looks it looks like it's been a little disturbed from where it was. Yesterday. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and um, <clears throat> check on the check in the nest. What do I see? All right. Give me a d6 roll, please. Okay. That's your d6. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Bad juju on my dice. Two. Okay. Um. No, oh, so glad you used your dice. Two of the eggs have been broken. Different. Open. Oh. There are two little small birds with their heads under their their wings, just sitting <clears throat> in the remnants of the eggs that they broke out of. Are they dead? No. Oh, there's only two. Two oh. of them have hatched. And the other f other four are still. They're still eggs. Eggs. Oh. Well, I will mention this to Benegrim, 
And um, it's a really awkward conversation we just had. <laughs> he scoops up the two little ones. They immediately just start squawking. You and I will become sure, great effects. friends. And he um, sort of, I guess, cradles them, puts in, them in his pocket. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the all small creatures go to die. <laughs> <laughs> This is the darkest timeline. <laughs> no, yeah, no, he's cradling, cradling them in his hands. Um, all right. So you arrive, you're heading to Benningrams first? Can I tell what kind of bird they are? Is it a... You were, you, you were looking for some sort of pigeon last night. I think so, yes. Yes, yes you have found okay. their... Some, some sort of pigeon. Some sort of pigeon. Okay. Greater Northern. Southern. I think this is actually a stool pigeon. <laughs> I will wreck you at it. No, it's you. That's right. Uh, they have shivs. I don't know if that's important to note. Um, all right. So you head to Benegrims, yes? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. There is a there is a young lad sweeping the steps in front of Benegrims' shop, kind of getting all of the. Uh, dried icing and uh, some of the garland flowers that have fallen down. Oh, there's a lot of dried you're icing. Mr. Floor, you're Mr. Vigilas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am. I am Mr. Vigilas. Uh, he walks back inside. He comes <laughs> back out with a large brown wrapped tin with twine kind of holding this is told to give this to you is 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 um mr benigrim is he in uh no actually he headed out early this morning where to oh <clears throat> well they gave me a silver thaler to to clean up and deliver that box to you did he seem all right Seems sad. Oh. Well, tell him that our chicks are hatching and that um, I am sure that when he returns, they will be ready to, that he <clears throat> will care for them for me as we discussed. All right. Thank you, um, young man, whom I do not know. You, you recognize him. Oh, who I do know. <laughs> Thank you, young man, who I do know. <laughs> human? I also am human, like you. That's right. I am human, just like you. Um, all right. So at this I, point, I... there is a knock on Mirabelle's door, and Steward Vicar Delia is standing outside. Oh, good. As I always say, I'm very fond of him, but I just don't think it would be reasonable to ask him to give up his, his uh, obligations here at the Temple of Parade. Oh, Stuart Vicar! Are you Tristan? How's it going? To Would you like a muffin? To live. No, no, thank you. Uh, Mirabelle's muffins sit very well with those of us who uh, are not the adventuring types. All right. You're leaving soon? Um, yes, I think just as soon as preparations can be made. Um, Delilah, give me a perception roll. Um, very well, I have some news. Um, I've arranged to <laughs> transfer Vigilas's obligations to the church. Yeah. Huh. I have sold him for a fixian, but, um... We, as you pointed out, Fex loves his deals. Sure. Um, Vigilas will be a traveling priest. With, oh. a, with a small parish of <laughs> five. That's, oh. not very, that's not very many people. She I mean, means three. Uh, what? what? Quality level three. 
Uh, you definitely saw Mirabel start to come in from the back and then see the steward vicar and turn around and go back <laughs> into the back. One, two, right. three, four, right. and five. Four is five. Yeah. Oh. Five. <laughs> Look at Takani teach Tristan math. No, just... <laughs> no, no I, I do not have to count. I'm just... Um... I feel like what you might be saying... Mm-hmm. What are you saying, Stuart Vicar? <laughs> I'm saying I have arranged for you to have a blessed one of Perrain traveling with you. You are, some might say, obligated. Others might say that the obligation flows in the other direction. Um, to, um, I'm trying to figure out how to ask this question. To what do I owe this great armor? <laughs> <laughs> not, not much happens in this town without me knowing. I know the trouble Vigalos has caused. Anvar, specifically. <laughs> Yet, without him, we would not have uncovered Iskra's treachery or the return of the Golden One. I see, so... Luck's own fool is how I would describe him. And I have a feeling where you're going. You could use a little of Fex's pull. In whatever form he might take. So you're saying <laughs> Vigalas is lucky. Uh, yes, I suppose I am. Thorwolf, please don't start... Should have, we should have rubbed his belly when no, it was, yeah, when yeah, it was out last night, Connie. We missed an opportunity. From now for on, luck. You have no. to rub his belly for luck. Well, is not a it, is, I want, it ever. is said that the gods move in mysterious ways. Because is the Buddha at the front of the Chinese restaurant. By the way, that's in character. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I, I should be going. Um, as I said, while little happens in this town, without my knowledge, this is one of those places that always seems to escape Fex's sight. And I shall not overstay my welcome. Before you go, Issachar had a daughter. Yes. Where, where is she? Is she taken care of? It is a tricky... situation. We do not know what Jella learned, what her mother told her. <clears throat> but even when I turned Iskra away from the temple and saw her fall in with the Golden One, Her heart towards her daughter was always the heart of a mother. And I do not believe she would have done anything to jeopardize that. And so I've taken Jella into the temple as a temple orphan. That's a good place for her. Good. Elwyn did not seem particularly pleased Well, he needs, between you and me, I think he needs more to do. <laughs> 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 
Elwyn is being prepared. We shall see what form Fex chooses to mold him into. But I must say I'm having a delightful time with my acolyte. <laughs> uh, Steward Vicar, um, keep an eye on everything for me. I do intend to come back, and I would... I've um, put a lot of work into... in a very short space of time, perhaps, but into this city and, um, well, don't let it fall down. While I'm home. I... I owe all of you a great debt. You restored my faith both in my God and in people. You would all be welcomed back in Fax Care. We just, all owe you a great debt. Just touch my amulet and... Um, alright everybody. You all... Alright. You all feel particularly um... blessed, for lack of a better term, as the steward vicar leaves. And for the next two weeks, uh, you will all find your fate point pool increased by one. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I can dig it! Uh, I'm sorry, Vigilas, you were not there. Yep. <gasps> I will eat candy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Delilah, as soon as the steward vicar kind of steps out from the threshold, the door from the back opens up and Mirabel comes in. She is carrying a large uh, set of saddlebags. I've packed enough food in here for at least three days on the road. I'm sorry, it won't be any good after that. There's coffee and a pot for you to set Coffee is excellent. Do you know that mages actually run on coffee? That's what uh, astral energy is derived from. I have often told people that it is by coffee that I set my will in motion. So as I assume it is the same for, for wizards yes. as well. A mage is essentially a machine for turning coffee into magic. Into magic. Yes, among other things. <laughs> um... So, I do have a, I do have a, uh, so Vigilas, are, yeah, at this point you see the steward vicar just kind of walking out of Mirabelle's. Hello, hello. Did you open the package? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just one end of it. Of yeah, Ben, there's like five layers in this thing. Yeah, no, I, I just opened them like the top corner. Where so I can still be contained. So it's this is like when you go to Chick Fil A and you get the waffle fries and you put them down the seat next to you. And you're like, yeah. I'm not, I'll just eat a couple. Yeah, I, I'll save the rest for when I get home. All right, Vigalas, let me know when you really tear into the package. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, just just the... Is it Benagram? Is Benagram inside? Yes. <laughs> ben Benagram baked himself into the sweets so that he would always be be inside you, Vigalas. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that's a horrifying <laughs> turn. <laughs> also, we're we having an old friend over tonight for dessert. That's right. Um, I mean. Also, <laughs> how far south do you see yourself going? I am just living with a nice Chianti and fava beans. How, really? how, come again. <laughs> you do not deserve to make any close to that Oh, movie. right. I. I heard, how far do you see yourself know, going, Delilah? Do you, do you, ex, do you plan sure. on going further south than Andergast? Like, do what? Do you plan on going further south than Andergast? Over into the Midden Realm? Down to Havina? That's a pretty good guess, actually. I'll be heading home. Oh. By and by. Would you take something that far for me? If this is another dark eye, I swear <laughs> I'm Cindy. Tristan, 
Come now. <laughs> Such matters are closed between us. Are they not? Not entirely, actually. I have a letter for your friend in the south. You do. Maybe you could just post. For the Grey Raven. Well, I thought we weren't mentioning names. Yeah, so like we'll that. just call your friend in the south. I would be glad to take a letter for her. What is it that you wanted us to take? I have something that does not belong to me and that I would very much like to see returned to its rightful owner. And she pulls out a small ivory elephant about that big. And you can see there's a, a line of silver that runs around just under the uh, the head and kind of like you think if it weren't sealed you would be able to take the top of the elephant off mm -hmm. let me pull my notes up real quick I apologize there is probably an inflatable elephant inside that is just a smashing uh, what? You yeah. break it open and a magical elephant pops. Is oh, he here? No, yes. I mean, have you gotten here yet, Vigalas? Oh, oh, that's right. I think probably yes. I feel like we'll know when you get here because you're going to be like, hey, Tristan. I am a blessing of Tristan now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Richard, if you kill if you kill Moon in, in two weeks, I totally understand. Just yep. like... There's no even. There's no need to, to have any explanation. Um, I tried so hard to honor the gods, <laughs> to keep my vows, oh my God. <laughs> to, um, to banish demons in the in the town. Or I should say the city of Babarin in Arania. All of that call. There is. A young woman uh, by the name of Majula. Um, Majula Saba Balima. I'm not gonna know how to spell that. Saba and then Balima? Mm -hmm. Majula. Is Majula. Delilah, like, she's. She's listening a lot more intently now. She. Do you have area you know knowledge? Do you have area knowledge, um, Arania? Did I spell it right? Uh, where would that be? I don't think. I don't Not think so. Okay. Um, Say it out loud. I'm not doing that. Now that you said that, I'm not doing it. Saba, how what's it? No. Never mind. Okay, just don't worry about it. You will be, uh, you will find her quite delightful. You have many, many things in common with her. If you would return this for me, I have, and she pulls out another small wrapped uh, bundle and she kind of sets it out. And inside there's a stack of ducats and there is a small, um, piece of jewelry, uh, you recognize it as, uh, like a, what am I trying to say? Like a necklace for the, the forehead, if you will. You would braid yeah. it into the hair. No. Of... The circlet. Circlet is what I was going to say. Yeah, it's... but it's not like, it's not like it's a... Got a name. Like it's yes. got a name. But... Or diadem. This was given to me by a friend of mine. First of all, I'm very sad to see all of you go, especially, well, including Vigilos. And I've grown quite fond of Fex care. And so I know only a little 
of what you've actually done. But if the town hasn't thanked you with more than words, and she slides 50 ducats, just, it's not much. But if you are willing to take this, I've been told that this, this piece of jewelry um, is magic, is enchanted. Man, is fortifies, it physical? fortifies the will. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> Maribel, how do you come by um, this, this elephant that's owned by, uh, what was her name? Majula Savabalina. Yes, Majula. How do you come by it? You are not the only well-traveled person in this room, Delilah. I was not always what I am now. What will it mean to her when I give it to her? Oh. I think it will mean the world. And why is that? We have all lost things. This world takes from us. It takes loved ones. And she kind of looks to Takani and Alanwe and Thorwolf. It takes family. He looks towards Tristan and Vigalas. And it takes birthrights. This is some measure of the world giving back to Majula. I, I hate see. to see. Hate to see. Things taken out of balance. And I I do what I can. Not much here in Fex care anymore. But when I was a younger woman. If I were a younger woman, I'd be going south with you to find Nilkorin. <laughs> but let's just say this is one of the reasons I came to Fex Care. Someone ran a very long way to try and keep that little statue from from me. And now I would like to put it back on the road back to where it goes. Sadly, I can't take it there myself. You know, things to print, potions to grind, pastries to bake. There's an extra package of pastries just for you, Weagalas. Oh, excellent! I have birds now to feed. Mini extra mouths. You guys have all heard this, like, muffled chirping <laughs> coming from Weagalas. Delilah hasn't ever right. since she said the name Majula. That's, okay. <laughs> That's her. She's just noticing the birds now. Beagles. So, do we have an accord, Delilah? <laughs> it's your pocket. I will see that this gets to where it needs to go. I appreciate it, that very much. There's more for you than I've the eye. Spoken to the steward vicar. <laughs> yes. There's more I... than good women between what's. Mm, and what seems. I am sure. now your spiritual leader. <laughs> Let's see, <laughs> chaplain. Yes, I am your chaplain. I am now a full fledged blessed Ukraine with my very own parish full of heathens. <laughs> hey. You, yes. Swath, according to. The teachings of the church and the twelve, Svafnir is the son of somebody else who is also in the church, but it's not Perrine because Perrine never went that direction. I'm not sure why. She is a very chaste goddess. Not from uh, what you describe her. 
Um, <laughs> we got Yes, Twister. Uh, apparently, I'm sort of responsible for you now. Shh. You, you, and you're I'm responsible to keep an eye on you. Um, so I just have some ground rules I'd like to discuss. Takani. First of all, Wolf tries to hold your hand. Aww. First of all, do you um, let him? I, yeah. So Kani here um, needs instructions in the way of the church. What? They will. I, I will endeavor to do so. Possibly nightly lessons. No. Do you know about the no? Sky Wolf? She she can't. She's every, already busy. Every evening. I mean, no, every other evening. Well, morning she's taking... devotions. It's really, your call. You're hey. the spiritual guy hey. well, of this hey. party. I, I, all right. Every other day, she is taking reading lessons from me. What? Well, well, she has a full well, academic schedule. Well, is she doing that before schedule. or after her geometry? Is what so I want to know. So while they're discussing this, she's going to take his hand and lead him out. Uh, second ground rule. You don't need to be here. Second ground rule. If you meet any or hear of any. Or imagine any. Shall or... we saddle the horses then? No. Good <laughs> idea. If you if you encounter any long lost or highly secret royalty, princes, princesses, dukes, <laughs> uh, marquises, <laughs> um, Margravets, um, really any. Have I, have I showed you yeah. my statuette of the Empress yet? Yeah. <laughs> the Empress. I told you, I, I don't think we're gonna have room for your action figures. Is it the posable one, though? Because um, I do want to kind of see if it's the posable one. It's not posable, no. Oh, all right, never mind then. They do sell those from Griffin's Bed, though. Um, <laughs> um, if we run into any secret nobility, you must promise me, on your honor as a blessed one, to keep it secret just between us. That's. What you can they, tell me. What if they I'm want good people to know? What if perhaps they are long lost and have returned to reclaim their then, kingdom? Then, then it's Especially not a secret. Them. They're supposed do you, to announce do you see it themselves. The difference? Do you see the difference? I suppose, but I feel that perhaps at times, as in the case of Anbar, uh, he mm. no, he might not even know that he was royalty. Right. So if we meet royalty that does not know their royalty, then I you feel should like, not tell anyone until you talk to me first. I I've spent a lot of time around people at court. I have too. My father was in the court of the Empress. So we're agreed then. We both have the same shared experience and background, so we both know how important mm -hmm. it is to not advertise these things uh, they... to the wider world. Especially if they haven't come into their fortune yet. Especially then. So, any half old princes, half elf princesses, half anything, anything. We talk about it before we advertise that we are friends. Don't get kidnapped mm -hmm. and tortured, and you don't get another hole blown in you, and I don't have to banish any more demons. That seems fair enough. That was a very, that did get out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just a skosh. But it ended in a wedding. It did, but I feel like we could have done the wedding with fewer demons. <laughs> this is also true. So... Uh, that is fair. All right. So you tend to the spiritual education of the party, most importantly Takani, and I'll tend to the talking to... Who is currently to leading Thoral to... Oh yeah, they've left. <laughs> Why is it empty? Empty barn. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Well, that was. I mean, there's horses in fast. there. Fast. Dang. We went to go. Hey, you don't know Saddle how. Saddle horses. No love potion needed. <laughs> no love potion needed. I I feel that like perhaps. I. Yes. We will. We will. We will forge a path of righteousness deep into the southern lands. Yes. And, Figalos, um, have another pastry. Oh, uh, I am... You know what? You are right. Uh, Benegrim has sent this for the road, and I feel that perhaps since I am leaving, I will not be able to eat your pastries in the future, and should perhaps take advantage when I can. Seems like a wonderful idea. 
All right. Well, Thank while you. we do this, take <laughs> advantage. I'm going to go see to my baggage and make sure everything's ready, horses, all that sort of thing. Excellent. All right. So, what is the plan, guys? Well, I've got about twenty more letters to write, and I want to start somebody building a wizard's tower for me here in Fexcare, and then. But immediately speaking, um, I think we are going to load up and head out. All right. Where you have a number of, of threads calling you south. Right. What well, is... that one particular thread I've sent assassins after. So let's find the Connie's Cut that thread off. Not there. Can't ask that one. Nope. <laughs> um, so let's, I, think, I think we're headed to, to Andergast and finding Takani's brother. All right. And maybe Eleanor's brother. And does anybody else have a brother that we're looking for? I've got two, but they're nothing special. I have four, and they so are boring. all well placed in many places across the kingdom. All Perhaps right. we will meet them someday. Cool. So, <laughs> um, cool is in his speaking to the giant gold man enough. in the sky, <laughs> um, I want to go to... Speaking of what in the sky? <laughs> the giant bald man in the sky who keeps asking me what we're doing next. Um, he is known as Prios, and you should answer politely. <laughs> I don't think Prios is bold. I've well, seen the pictures. I am I got a spiritual the... education master But here. I've got the smiling TV Prios bumper sticker. And he's smiling I'm on it. He's got golden hair and a crown. Him it's on my stickers. mandolin case. Where did you put I, I covered my mandolin case with Aventuria oh. bumper, bumper stickers. Nice. Are it's you feeling the, all right, Tristan? I'm, no. I'm just a little... I was making some healing potions because I didn't know you were coming. So... <laughs> James tried to... Yeah, Aaron said before he left that he was going after um, Lord Borkhelm, O-Kinger. Going after Lord who? Lord who? Lord O-Kinger. Of Tashkal. Okinger? Okinger. Tristan, you should get some fresh air, my son. Here. The herbs, they've gone right to you. I sometimes rattle on a bit when I've been uh, brewing. Um, I would I would check around there. Um, if you want Elkoran's help. He's been down there for the last six, eight weeks. If we want Ilkorin's help, nobody's ever said those words. <laughs> he might be in over his head. I have a feeling that if he had stayed, he would have often found himself in over his head. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, excuse me. <laughs> 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 All right, so Delilah, are you are you you are taking the? Oh gosh! You are taking the the small white elephant with you. Of course, she's taking the elephant. All right. Um. All right, guys. So you saddle your horses, yep. and um, you are actually as you kind of head towards the gates. Uh, you do see uh, the steward vicar and Elwyn and Vixen and Anvar and some of the foxes and Oakward, the young Oakward, who um, there is a lady hanging off of his arm. Um, but no Benagrim. And the friends that you have made in care and the people you have saved see you off as you begin to head south. Yes, Delilah. Uh, Mirabelle will find a uh, hire someone statue kidnapping Amanda. with interlocking wow. squares that weighs about 12 pounds. Have you seen no In your room. <laughs> in, in, in the room <laughs> and underneath there's a very sweet thank you note. Oh, okay. You do realize now that Gertash is dead, his statues are like worth Enough. way more. Because, you know. The story that goes along with it. Yeah, him. of course. Okay. Um, all right. 
Interesting. All right, so I have like very bizarre notes from tonight. She dropped twelve crowns. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I have Tristan bought a house. Tristan made deals with assassins. Delilah <laughs> left a statue. Thorwolf and uh, Thorwolf and Takani kissed. Um, I just wrote down awkward conversation between Vigalas and. I'm sure I know what that means for the rest of my life. Um, I also have two so squabs now. we're all going to be trying hard to figure out. You want? Yep. I also have two squabs now. You do have two squabs now. All right, so um, do you guys have your map of Aventuria? Sorry, what? 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 Do you have we're your listening. map of Aventuria? Yeah, it's right. We definitely uh, I have, Fex, I have the map of Fex Care, but not. I don't, know. don't worry, I got you back, Jack. Yes, the book. Um, where? What? Um, Jacques. Nope. Um, <laughs> they must have a map. I have a map of Aventuria right here. All right. What? Uh, oh, where are you guys kind of looking at headed or heading? Um, I guess we'll go looking for Ilcorin with the thinking that. He'll be able to tell us maybe a bit more about the Black Yarl. All right. So down into Andergast. Are you heading? Uh, what? Which way are you headed? I mean, Thorwolf. Thorwolf lets you know you could take the Bodir all the way down to Thorwall, and then head back up the river to Andergast. Um, I want to uh, I'm trying to find a more detailed regional map i totally forgot to do this earlier but better late than never What's that? um i want to draw the castle thing that i saw in my vision oh okay do you have uh artistic ability yes i do or castle. paper and pencil uh paper and pencil mirabelle can provide that paper. go ahead and give me your roll and charcoal uh, ben this is uh, for the movie when they cast, cast Russell Crowe as an older Tristan. Cool. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely succeed. Uh, level two quality. Quality level two. It's Russell Crowe. Oh, all right. You have successfully uh, sketched out the map from your vision in the... Uh... Wait, so you just a have a map? map? Or your uh, the image of the... Okay. Looking yeah. at the castle, are there any? Is there any herald, heraldry on it that I might recognize? There is not, which is actually strange. Uh, Takani's drawing is quite good, and uh, you would assume that you would have seen something there that you recognized, but um, that is not the case. Interesting. There is a river. Um. Was there anything? Let's see. It went under the castle, right? It went like, there was like a, a river leading to it. And... The river went under the castle, yes. Oh yeah, right. that would have been drawn in. Mm -hmm. And if you right. remember from your vision, uh, you saw your brother being taken in a longboat down the river. Okay. I'm going to tell everybody that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what it means or if really happened or what but that is the vision i saw so the question is do we do we go by horse do we go by boat well we do have these horses from prowse himself and i feel like it would be very rude to discard mm -hmm. them especially since that's the whole reason we went to the Orklands to begin with um i think we should ride south do you um all right so what you have kind of two options. You can head south um, along the river, travel through Thorwall for a bit, and then head down into Andergast on the south side of the Stone Oak Forest. Or you can pass between the two branches of the Stone Oak Forest, which is still part of the Orklands, and then come around into Andergast. I have no frame of reference for what we're actually doing. Um, if you um, look at, if you're in the almanac, I am. Do do do. Come on. Crawler, prepare the boat. Get the almanac. 
<laughs> what page is the map on there, Richard? Nine. Five hundred of our fan. There we go. All right. Oh God. So, <laughs> if you take a look, uh, right there, uh, where it says the steps of the orcs. Right. There are two mountain passes that run right along the bottom edge of the steps of the orcs. Right. So I see. So that's the stone oaks. So there's, there's the there's the exit out to the the exit out to the left of that into Thorwall Thorwall and uh, Gelskland. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the one to the way over to the right. That's right. way over to the right. I see. And there are no mountain passes between. Like just you could head into the mountains. Uh, there would be. Um, it I would seem be... to remember like roads or something when we had this discussion before, but I don't. Yeah, I thought there was a road. Like there was like yeah. a, a mountain road that that, we that were, just sort of straight a, south. We had like a map with a yeah. plan. We had we had actually calculated out our trip and how long it would take. And that's why we were like, well, we need horses. Yeah. And then things with horses, uh, you're looking at again about eight days. That was right. We, well, bad. before it was six days, but yeah. eight days. Um, I think we would go... You can, you can try for a pass. There are a few through the mountains. I mean, where do you think that this black do, uh, black yarl, yarl would be? Uh, wherever Is human it? misery is at its peak. Sure, but that's all mm -hmm. of Andergast, you have to understand. So, Could we narrow it down a bit? Like... He stays off the sea, but he's got a ship, right? So he's got to be along one of these rivers. The Ingval oh. is portable. You can sail it. It's deep enough. How how close is that to the place where she said that Ilkorin was? Uh, if you look the uh, so the Ingval River is the one that. Um, you need to be talking about. Me. Oh, where is it? The Ingval River, um, you see where Thorwall is at? I do. Okay, so let me go to the page so that I can see your map a little better. I think it's not a super detailed map, and that is the. Do you have access to a computer there, Richard? Um, I've got my phone. Oh, All right. Okay. Well, let's right, do this. Do, do, do. Putting it in the chat. So this is the map that I use for basically everything. Or one of the maps I use for everything. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Uh, so Thorwolf says, listen, I've been... I've been... Out of it for... Oh, this is just the one from the book. Two months as well. Um, if we head through Thorwall, we may get a better, we may get a better feel for it, but it could be wildly out of our way. Or we go to Andergast, it can't be that many Thorwallers moving around their country. Sorry, I'm waiting for the map to load. Wait, is that a more detailed map that you just sent? Yep. That one's going to be even larger. That's you guys have access to the Google Drive, yes? Yep. Okay. All right. So... There are a number of, there are, I knew that right. there's a number of villages along the edge of the Bodir, right as we come around the, the Stone Oak Forest. We may be able to pick up better information there. All right, so we're basically on the Bodir. Okay, I, I got it now. I got it now. All right, so we're basically on the Bodir. So if we cut around the west of the northern Stone Oak Forest and the Stone Oak Forest, down to Thorwall, 
What was the city that she said that Lord Oakinger was in? I couldn't catch it when you said it earlier. Oh, uh, it is of Teshkal. It is not on the map. Or at least not on the map I sent you. Do I know where Teshkal is? Do you have uh, area of knowledge Endergast? I have a lot of geography. Uh, give me a geography roll. All right, well, not a lot of geography. I have some geography. Uh, quality level... Why don't I have more geography? I thought I... Okay, well, I'll figure that out later, but quality level one. Quality level one. Okay. Yes, you know where... Um... You know that, I mean, at this with quality level one, you know that Teshkal is in Andergast, um, along the disputed line between Andergast and Nostria. So your guess is, you know, along the Ornib River, maybe by Lake Theron, something, somewhere in that area. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Just a ballpark is what I was trying to get. All right, so that, uh, you said the river, let's see here. Ah, uh, I wish this map would stop zooming in and out. All right, so there's Nostria. Way down there. Yeah. Would you like to look at a map? So is that like okay. a, along the river Tommel? Um, do, do, do. Oh, 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 uh, like along the Ornib near Lake Thurian is what you said, right? Yes. Okay. So, looking at that, I don't really see that one of those ways is necessarily faster than the other at this point. Not necessarily. Your, your, your main choice here is are you going through... Um, are you going through... Kazara? Or Thorwall? Uh, Thorwall, or are you going through, uh, basically continuing through the Orc lands? I mean, I think it makes sense to go through Thorwall. Mm hmm Yeah. And... And, um... Then we can cut down from the Bodea to the... Ingval. And uh, if we can't find a better road, take the Ingval along the river to Andergast. And the Ingvall River, right? River. Right here. From, from oh, I see. Gilwall yeah. to Salzer. All right, I guess the wall it is. All right. Ellen Way, what do you think? You're a very experienced traveler. <laughs> Richard, a map. Where is Alonway now? Uh, she has rejoined the party. She spent the night somewhere else. Okay. Um, has she picked up her armor? Fantastic. She oh, no, did. She managed to get the armor that she was looking for. I was like okay. so irritated that sure. my maps oh. never showed up as per the Kickstarter. They were just in the back of the book. Hey, JM, I got a map. I got a, I got a really big map that came in the Almanac. It's super cool. And if that's not enough, I have a slightly smaller but just as detailed map, which also came with the almanac. I.e. you didn't realize it was in the almanac? Yep. Right. So, for those of you at home, when you purchase your almanac, it comes be with sure to map. check in the bag! <laughs> <laughs> Although I think these might have been because of Kickstarter, but anyway. It might be Kickstarter exclusive, in which case... But still check. In which case, yeah, still check. To you guys. Check in. Back to the next one. Cool, cool stuff. All right. Thank so you, with man. that, we said we're heading through Thorwall. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. You're like, that's a what? I need. I need everyone to roll a d20 for me. Excellent. I'm not sure. Let's see. I <laughs> got a mighty three. We're trying to roll over something, right? It's a roll under system, Sophie. So. 18. 19. 
Three. Thirteen. Excellent. Because we all know what JM did. We do. Well, 20. I know what JM did. Twenty. JM made encounter tables for the journeys. Yep. Yep. No, Excellent. I figured. All right. So that's actually where we will end for tonight. Uh, with you guys heading out of Fex Care, and we will uh, start with the journey on the on the road for our next session. Now Excellent. I know we have. Uh, so first of all, thank you guys. I hope you had fun. Uh, uh, yeah. Kind of I mean, wrapping up the Fex Care. Uh, I mean, you guys did you guys did some mighty deeds in Fex Care. Some of which were not even recorded on the on the stream, but started after started <laughs> before. Um. For those of you who kept tuning into the Twitch stream, there will probably be a shift in schedule for our next time. We'll post it on the on the Google Plus page. There's just going to be some people traveling, and we'll try and get the game in some point before or after the travel, and then be back to our regularly scheduled program. Tristan has a speaking engagement in the far-off land of Virginia. <laughs> Well, it looks like Ratatos here ended our session for tonight. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be posting this on the YouTube channel, and I um, look forward to seeing you all next time. Uh, until next time, good gaming. <laughs>